Let's move on now to the fourth email today. And the fourth email today comes to us from one of our Patreon supporters, Jeff Bingham, who writes, Hey, John, what did you think of the Holmes and Watson trailer? I'll be blunt. I did not like it. I personally am not a fan of these period satires that rely on modern day pop culture references for laughs like Year One, Your Highness, and A Million Ways to Die in the West. All right. Thanks a lot for the question, Jeff. And yes, finally, the first trailer to Holmes and Watson has come out. Number one. I am a massive fan of when these guys get together, particularly in Step Brothers. Step Brothers is one of my all-time favorite comedies. I think it's one of the most underrated comedies ever made. I laugh myself sick stupid when I watch that movie. There's something very special about Will Ferrell and John C. Riley on screen together. When these guys are on screen together, something really special comedically happens. And I have been fascinated by this idea of Holmes and Watson. Their own kind of taken iteration on the Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson motif. Super excited about. Trailer drops the other day. It sucks. It sucks. It's all subjective. You may love it, and that's great. But for me, unbelievably disappointed. Unbelievably disappointed. It came across as sad and pathetic and unfunny and... The only thing I even marginally grinned at, and this is painful for, for me because if you guys watch my show, you know how excited I have been for this movie. I've been very intrigued by this movie, very excited for it. I love these guys together. I still do. But the only thing in the trailer that made me even remotely grin was that kind of one gag where he's got the um, the huge camera apparatus on the the sticks and he's holding it up to do a selfie okay, that was funny but then the running joke with the queen's like hey girl and making signs that was just pathetic but that was kind of indicative of the entire trailer it just wasn't funny and and i'll be honest with you as much as it pains me to say it it's like it honestly reminded me of the absolute lowest common denominator humor like that we got out of Meet the Spartans. And, and remember those trash spoof movies? This felt, instead of an iteration, a comedic iteration of it, which is what I was looking forward to, it came across straight as pure spoof. And fine, do as pure spoof then. But it came across as terrible spoof. Unfunny. The jokes seemed... I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm very disappointed now. I am keeping in mind that we have often seen bad trailers to great movies and great trailers to bad movies. Just because a trailer sucks, sucks doesn't automatically mean the movie will suck. Not at all. I'm still going to go see this movie. This is still Will Ferrer and John C. Riley working together. I'm still going to be there to see it, and I'm just going to hope that this is a case of just terrible marketing. But I'll tell you what, guys. My anticipation level for this movie has just dropped like a rock in the lake just dropped like a stone in a lake. Um, so it's just taken some, it's made my heart sad. This trailer made my heart sad. There, put that on your poster. John Campia says, the trailer for Holmes and Watson makes my heart sad. Yeah, it just, it made my heart sad. Well, I, I don't know how you, maybe some of you guys loved it and that's great if you did and I'm happy if you did. But yeah, for me, man, I was, I don't think I could be more disappointed. I really don't. But hey, is what it is. All right, let's move on to the fifth email.